Hello and welcome to part 4 of my creating a game in Java tutorial. Sorry for the long wait, but I've been very busy with school. So uh, we've got our sprite class up, which is what we did last time. Just a very, very simple class that allows you to draw an image to the screen. First of all, we've got to get that image to draw to the screen. So our image loader class, first of all, we only want one of them. Because if you've got five image loader classes, then it's going to eat memory, you know. And you, you want programs to be efficient. So first of all, what we do is we create the only instance of the class inside the class. You'll see what I mean when I type it out. Make sure it's static. Really. I'm just going to call it single since there's only one of them. Single instance. So that's so that creates our single image loader class and then all we need is one function which returns that single class so um, I've got static, static as it's returning a static instance image loader. we'll just call it get and that simply returns single I wish you could type Okay, and now we can get onto the proper coding of the class. So first of all, we are going to make a hash map which holds the images, well, the sprites, it's going to hold the sprites with reference to the name of the image that you've loaded. So let's just create that just now. Private hash map, which takes a string, which will be the reference code, and a uh, sprite. Uh, we'll just call it images. New hash map. String. And sprite. Whoops. Um, there we go. Uh, you'll have to import hash map. Which should be under util, I think. Yep, Java util hash map. Oh, Java .util .hash map. I just like to use Eclip uh, Eclipse to do it because it makes my life easier. And now we can get the uh, image loaded. So this is the main image loader function. You can create more if you want. It loads, say, a, a sprite sheet or a strip. But this loads one image, puts it in the hash table, which is well, hash map, which is all we really need at this moment in time. So public. Sprite because it turns a sprite, get sprite, pass it a reference. The reference that you pass it is going to be the name of the sprite, well, the name of the file, image file. So, first of all, we check if it's already in the hash map because if it is, we don't need to load it again. It saves memory. If it's already in the hash map, just return the one that's already there. Image, 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 images. That's why. Okay. Right, so then we create a buffered image which holds a source image which you get from file, so buffered image. We'll just call it source image. And make it null to start with. Uh, you need to import buffered image which is in the image Java AWT image. Um, what's this? I'll just try to shut up. Right, then we want to try catch block just in case it doesn't load the image, you don't like program crashing. So try to load the image. Search image equals image input output file dot read. Right, a new file. Oh, I don't know if you can see that hang on. New file. And that's just a reference because that's what the file is going to be called. Uh, import file as well, Java input output, and then catch any errors. Hang on, um, try catch. 
uh, MPLP exception. Call it E. And if there's an exception, you you can have it do stuff, but I just like to print out a message that says uh, image not found or unable to load. Unable to load. And then the image that's unable to load. Plus a reference. Import your image output, input output exception, and that's the image loaded. So now we want to optimize the image, I think that's the words. Optimize. I'm not sure of the words, but anyway, we want to draw the image to the sprite image which we then return as a sprite. I know that's confusing, so just watch and see if you can pick up what's happening. First of all, we get the graphic configuration of the screen. GC, so you put in the uh, graphics environment. Get local, local graphics environment. Now, my spelling might be quite off here, so bear with me. Get local graphics environment. Uh, that's a function. Dot, dot. Get was it default screen? I think default screen device. No function and get default configuration. That's just so it draws to whatever your graphics card is configured at. So if your graphics card normally takes set to the images or whatever. Well, your motherboard or depends what it's drawn, like your primary graphics configuration is. And then there's a lot of importing. So if we go back to this line, we need to import graphics configuration. And we need to import graphics environment. Java AWT. That'll be the one. Okay, and then that's just spelling, so I'll leave it there so you can see how it's spelled. And there you go. Right, I need to be really quick here because I'm running out of time. So now we draw this new image based on your computer's graphics setup. So image, image, this makes your program more efficient. It's your graphics configuration to create compatible image. Uh, Ah, um, so what you want to do is a source image, uh, get width, source image dot get height, this just creates an image which is the size of the image you passed in, and what else do I pass in here, the transparency which is just a bit mass. And now all that's left to do is to no, we've got import image first. Surprised I've not done that before. Put down the line. Sorry guys, um Okay. So all we need to do now is create the sprite and put it inside the table. So sprite just call it sprite. So you go to new sprite. This is where your sprite class from the last video came in. So if you've not already made it, go and make it right now. Or this won't work. And then images get put. So what you do is put in the sprite in there. Reference, which is the name, and the sprite. So basically, you can have seven sprites of evil guy or whatever, and it should all work. Images. Check your spelling, and then we just return the sprite. Image, and that's us. Hope you enjoyed.